Now, this is the content I want to see. Some surveys, some statistics, some percentages. Yeah, yeah. As you can see from the stats, the SEN followers, people, whatever, I don't know who the fuck is involved. They heavily underrate Hawthorne. Hawthorne, who's going to have Coleman medalist Mitch Lewis. Great asset Dylan Moore. James Sisley at the back. Alongside Will Day, who's, who's a bit injured right now. But anyway, they've got a class team. And they've got a class coach. A class game style. And the fact they're still bottom three in this survey is an indictment on those who voted. Otherwise, honestly, there's no real surprises here. Um, I would say the only slight surprise is the fact the dogs are less than the Suns. Fuck, man. The Suns hype is way too... Oh, oh, what is the hype here? Stop the hype. The Suns are not a chance to make the eight. Fucking hell. <laughs> so clearly the top eight is the exact same as last year, except the Crows are in, which they should have been in last year anyway. Uh, the Crows are in for the Saints. And I think the general consensus is that'll happen. Like statistically, the St. Kilda were not it in 2023. They won't be making the eight. There were a couple of teams that I think could drop out of the eight out of these teams. Uh, Adelaide on the basis of over-reliance on Tex Walker. Uh, Melbourne on the basis of culture problems. Fucking do. Uh, and then Port Adelaide on the basis of new captain, new key position players that need to have time to embed themselves in the system. And the fact that Ken Hinckley isn't a great coach. They're the three teams I'll be watching out for dropping out the eight. Uh, and teams like Hawthorne, Geelong, the Dogs, they're the ones that you got to watch closely. Watch them closely.